Something I do when I'm nervous, uncertain, or anxious is I try to find solid things to stand on, or things for certain that I know to be true. Right now, these are those things. Number one, this too shall pass. Nothing lasts forever. We don't know how much time we have left, and our time is going to go by whether or not we're spending it consciously. It's also our own responsibility to either spend our time or allow others to spend it for us. In any case, this too shall pass has helped me get through the stressful times and also really appreciate the good times and not take those for granted. Life is precious and it is short. As Steve Jobs said, your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Number two, security is a false belief. In the same way that nothing lasts forever, 100% security is pretty much an impossibility. I saw some great people lose their jobs in 2020. My own job no longer felt like solid ground to walk on for the first time. The truth is that most workers are replaceable. Companies exist before we start working there and they still exist after we leave. In any situation, I wanna make sure that I'm being loyal to myself, not to a company. I wanna make sure that my daily life, my daily career is helping me gain skills that I'm interested in getting anyways. Sure, there's definitely more security in certain occupations compared to others, but overall, even the most definite of careers isn't really. Number three, the simple pleasures are what brings the most happiness. I've absolutely fallen in love with simple pleasures. I call them small luxuries, and they remind me a lot of how I felt as a kid. Back then, you could give me a morning of Looney Tunes, a day at the swimming pool, and a piece of juicy fruit gum, and I'd be truly happy. With adulthood, these things have evolved a bit, but they don't need to get that much more complicated. Now I really like walks around the neighborhood in the sunshine, a good mug of hot coffee, and a great smelling shower after working out. It's not really that I'm content with what I have, but rather I want what I have. I have. These are the things that I keep choosing and I keep coming back to. These simple pleasures are easy reliables to keep myself happy. Number four, routines are a good thing. Routines actually don't come easy to me. I naturally want to resist them, so I really rely on alarms to remind me to follow through with what I've promised myself I'd do. But I'm super grateful to have both a morning and a night routine in place at this point. It's the best thing that I've done for my mental health because even if I don't accomplish anything else that day, I still know that I'll be at least well-rested, showered, and fed. Routines truly are the number one key that have kept me sane when working independently from home. It's also the only way I've been successful in learning anything new. Daily consistent practice over time is the tactic that works. Number five, at the same time, a little bit of risk makes me feel the most alive. I'm okay with routines and repetition in daily life as long as I do have some crazy shenanigans to look forward to occasionally. I took a cross-country road trip last summer and it was less than two weeks long, but it was way more memorable than your average two weeks. Humans are not robots, so having something special to look forward to or indulge in is a great cure for that mundane repetition of the routines. These five little life lessons are the things that I keep coming back to, and they're really the strongest hold that I have right now, the most solid ground I can stand on. You know, it really doesn't take much to improve your life pretty quickly.